Have you ever thought about completing your work without actually doing the work? Well, thanks to AI, this idea is becoming more real than ever before. Today, I want to share with you three cool AI tools that are not widely known, and I use them myself to earn money online every month. We'll dive into the details of each tool, learning how to use them to supercharge your side hustles, and we'll take a closer look at the advantages and disadvantages of each tool. This way, you can create a smart plan to boost your earnings while cutting down on the effort you need to put in. Let's jump right in. Our first tool is Opus.pro, and this cool free tool can take any of your long videos and magically chop them into several different short videos with just a single click. It finds the most interesting parts of your longer video and turns them into short, one-minute clips that even have captions. Here's how I make the most of this trick. I create a bunch of these short videos all at once, then I send them to influencers through private messages, asking if they need someone to make their short videos. Sure, I got told no or didn't get a response many times, but that's just part of the game. Game. And guess what? I actually got a chance to talk and make a deal with one influencer. Now I'm getting paid to work on his short videos for him. He doesn't even know that I can finish the work in half the time. Let me break it down for you. I'll grab a long video from YouTube right now. Let's use this video with Elon Musk. First, we're going to copy the video's URL and then paste it into Opus.pro. The software is going to look at the video and figure out what parts to use. You can even pick which part of the video you want the AI to look at. Okay, it's finished processing. Now let's see what it came up with. There are a a bunch of different clips here and I'm liking the title of this first one. Let's give it a watch. Already kind of a cyborg uh, if you think of like your phone and your computers as an extension of yourself. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm honestly pretty amazed that the AI can scan this whole 15 minute video and figure out that in this part, Elon is talking about how we're pretty much already cyborgs. It knows that this could be a cool clip for a short video, and it's totally right. You'll notice that this is way quicker than making the whole video from scratch. And if you want to, you can tweak the video by clicking on edit over here. You've got the power to change the captions, decide where the clip starts and finishes, switch up the font, text color, where the words show up, and how everything looks on the screen. For me, I'm good with what we've got. And just like that, we're all done. This can be our example to show potential clients and get them interested. Or if you're someone who already creates content for your own business, this can be a super cool way to whip up content fast. So here's what I think. This AI tool is like the perfect beginner's tool to give your side gig a major boost. You can't ignore how crazy simple it is to use, plus it saves you a bunch of time. I could easily make around 20 of these in just an hour. Imagine if that's all I did for a job that pays $20 for each video. That'd be $400 dollars in just one hour. But let's talk about the not so great part. Even though it's quick, it's not a passive strategy unless you're using it to make short videos that help you get more viewers. Also, I'd say that compared to the other tools we're going to talk about, the amount you can earn with this might not be as high. Still, it's a super awesome tool and it's only going to get better with time. Now, I'm really excited about this next tool called Browse AI. It's like a special robot that can scrape data. What it does is it sets up a robot to keep an eye on a website and tell you if anything changes. Let's say you like to buy things on eBay and then sell them on Amazon to make some extra money. Imagine you want to know right away when someone puts up one of your VR headsets for sale on eBay. With this robot, you just give it the web address where the VR headsets are listed and ask it to watch for changes. Then, as soon as a new listing with all the important info like the price, the robot sends you an email. This way, you can quickly decide if you should try to buy it or not. There are lots of ways you can use this tool to make money, but my favorite is checking out what really good cryptocurrency traders are up to. If you know about cryptocurrency, you know that all the trades they make are recorded online in something called the blockchain. I like using a website called DBank to see what these skilled traders are buying and selling. These crypto experts often get info faster than regular folks, and the patterns in their buying and selling can sometimes be the first thing that makes prices go up a lot. Let's take a big account as an example. On May 26, they bought a type of cryptocurrency called EDU. Look at the graph. You can see that after they bought it, the price went way up. If you had seen that they bought that coin before most people knew about it, you could have made a large profit of 57%. We want to find when these big accounts buy a certain thing, and we're going to use Browse AI to give us a hand. So on our dashboard, we're going to create a new robot that can watch for changes on websites. Just a quick note for now, this only works if you're using Google Chrome. Here's what we do next. We put in the web address of the page we want to keep an eye on. Let's go to DBank and type in the wallet address of a trader. I 
I usually find these wallet addresses in the whales section on dbank and sometimes on Twitter. You can pick their trading history and copy the web address, then paste it into the robot. After that, you press the button that says start recording task and now the robot will open up the web page and show you what's happening on Browse AI's screen. Up there, you'll spot this tiny robot keeping an eye on us. Now check out what's down here. It's a record of all the trades this count has made. The rows at the top are the latest trades. Now let's move over to our robot and pick capture text. Now we get to choose specific parts of this page that we want the robot to pay attention to. Every time the trader makes a new trade, we'll see it pop up in this column. So we're basically telling the robot to look for changes on this page. Click capture visible text. Now scroll down a bit, maybe like four rows. This way we can keep track of the four most recent trades. Once you've picked all the info you're interested in, hit the enter key and give a name to each section. Now finish recording, then make a name for your brand new robot. Then you can choose how often you want the robot to check the website for updates. I'll call it crypto trading alert. If you're using the free version, unfortunately you can only make the robot check the site once every day. But for many things, that should work just fine. If you decide to go for the paid version, you can get updates every hour or even every minute. My suggestion is to start with the free version and give it a go. If you find you need more specific updates, you can think about paying for the paid version, but only if you're really making good money with this. All right, we're all set. Our robot is ready to go. It's going to watch the four latest trades closely. As soon as anything happens with this wallet, your robot will send you an email. The email will tell you exactly what's different. With this info, you can make smart choices about what to do with your investments. So a super quick disclaimer, this isn't financial advice, and it's only something you should think about if you already know your way around cryptocurrency. It's risky stuff, and you should really be sure about what you're doing. With that said, I think this tool fits perfectly into this type of plan. Once you understand how it works, setting it up and using it is super simple. The potential to make money is really big. Also, besides the plan I'm talking about, there are tons of other ways you can make money with this tool. So I really suggest getting to know it better. But let's talk about a few not so great things. If you want updates more often during the day, it could end up costing you a bit. And to really make the most of this tool, you probably should already have another way you're making money. It's not exactly a full-time gig on its own, but it's awesome for boosting the money you're already making somewhere else. All right, now this tool is a combo of Midjourney and Repper. I'm pretty sure most of you know about what Midjourney can do. It turns simple text descriptions into amazing pieces of art. We're going to use Midjourney to quickly create designs that we can use to sell stuff online, like on Etsy. These days, people really like buying seamless digital patterns that they can print and use for crafting or scrapbooking. Look at this account here, for instance. They only sell digital paper, and they've sold more than 75,000 of them. So the first step is to choose a few designs to work on. And we'll also ask ChatGPT to tell us about the latest trends in scrapbooking to help us get started. Okay, I see that people really like botanical themes and watercolor designs. So for our first creations, let's give botanical or flower-themed watercolor prints a shot. All right, let's dive into Midjourney. Just a heads up, Midjourney isn't free. The most affordable option costs $10 per month. If you're interested in checking out a free alternative, there's Leonardo.ai, but it's a bit trickier to make those cool, seamless patterns with that site. Personally, I went ahead and subscribed to Midjourney's cheapest plan. Now, there are a few steps to follow in order to download and set up Midjourney on Discord. I'll drop a link below to a video that explains how to do it. Once you're all set up, you can start telling the software what you want by typing forward slash imagine and then describing the art you're thinking of. So let's take the exact description we got from ChatGPT and see what comes out. Wow, this is looking really awesome. But keep in mind, we want to create designs that seamlessly flow together. That means making the same image repeat over and over to make a bigger picture. Right now, this art has some strange lines and shading around each image, which would make it tricky for us to repeat it smoothly. To fix this, we need Midjourney to give us an image without those odd borders. We can make that happen by adding dash dash tile at the end of our description. And boom, we've got borderless tile images ready to go. Now, let's bring in another free cool AI software called Repper. The special software is designed to automatically repeat patterns from just one image. All we need to do is upload our single tile image, and in a matter of seconds, the software will take care of repeating it over and over again for us. What's super awesome about Repper is that it gives you loads of ways to repeat your pattern. Try experimenting with this yourself. Trust me, it's really enjoyable and pretty cool.
cool. You can even check out how your designs would look on a 3D object, which can be really useful. But for today's plan, let's stick with the basic repeating pattern. Most digital paper sizes on Etsy are 12 inches by 12 inches and have a quality of 300 dpi. So let's make sure we pick those settings and get it ready to go. In this collection, I'm going to include eight different designs. So I'll quickly follow the same steps for seven more prompts in mid journey using various pastel colors. Awesome, we now have our set of eight designs. The next step is to create a thumbnail for Etsy. We can do this easily using free templates on Canva. All right, awesome. That thumbnail seems like a great choice. Now let's take our listing to the next Next level by creating some mock-ups of how the designs would actually look in real situations. We can do this using some free templates from Canva. For example, we could show off what our patterns would look like on thank you cards or even on business cards. Once you have all your pictures ready, it's time to put together the listing. Now, if we were to explain this step in full detail, the video would end up being an hour long. But don't worry, there are loads of other tutorials on YouTube that can guide you through setting up an Etsy shop. Alright, we've successfully completed our first listing, but here's the thing. You can't really expect to just set up one shop and start making a ton of money right away. Boosting your SEO on Etsy gets better as you make more and more listings over time. For me, I'm aiming to have around 20 different digital paper listings on the site eventually. But right now, I've got two up and running. One with these pretty flowers we made, and another showing off a cool design with Japanese mountains. Now, here's where things get a little tricky. This tool and approach I just talked about could give you the chance to earn more money than the other methods I mentioned earlier. But I'll be honest, it needs a good amount of work from the get-go, and there's no guarantee you'll make profits right away. However, if you manage to build a successful shop, it can start to make money even while you're not working a lot on it. Many folks treat Etsy as a serious side gig, and some folks even turn it into a full-time job. Just remember, it's not a way to earn quick and easy cash. If you're willing to put in the effort, there's no doubt that the potential of earning is really high. So that pretty much covers the three tools that allow me to make $4,800 per month. Now that you know how I make money with these three tools, check out this video here to learn how I make passive income with these two other tools.